Well, hello again. Well, yeah, there's the fries of AMW, and they're pretty good. Yeah, today, well, it's a big loss because, well, I lost my Nashville hot chicken sandwich AMW video, and guess what? They, um, they put, took the sandwich off the menu pretty early, as opposed to Burger King's offering, which is still there. So, yeah, I'm going to have to review AMW's other offering, the chicken habanero sandwich. So yeah, there it is. And in case you're wondering, yeah, I tried out the Nashville hot chicken sandwich from A&W, and while the chicken itself is good, the pickles on it are, well, they're way too sweet. So yeah, if it wasn't for the sweet pickles, I would have gotten it a higher rating. But as it stands, it gets a 7 out of 10, so there you go. There's my uh, review of the, well... Nashville hot chicken sandwich from a and right there. Just so I can put it in this video. So yeah, in case you're wondering, yes, a and habanero chicken sandwich is actually better than the ha Nashville hot chicken sandwich. I tried it before and it took a bite. As you can see. Yeah, it's pretty good. The uh, sauce is, well, spicy and, well, you can barely see it. It's basically just... An a &W chicken sandwich with hot sauce in it. And it doesn't have any sweet pickles in it, unlike the Nashville hot chicken sandwich. I'm not trying the Nashville hot chicken sandwich again. Pickles are too sweet. So yeah, unlike the a, um, Nashville hot chicken sandwich from a and the chicken haban the habanero chicken sandwich isn't ruined by overly sweet things. Yeah, it isn't ruined by sweet stuff, and it's actually pretty good. The chicken's good, and it doesn't have the same flaws as the Nashville hot chicken sandwich does. Oh, and by the way, I also got a, um, a frozen root beer that day. This video is a, um, a late upload. It was filmed long ago, but yeah, I got to myself a frozen root beer as well, alongside my Diet Coke. So yeah, there's the frozen root beer, it's melted a bit. Yeah, it is pretty good. I do like the concept of a uh, a and making a frozen root beer, and it's the closest you'll ever get to having a, um, a drink that's similar to a Slurpee. Yeah, so, I actually like the frozen root beer, and it's kind of like the Slurpee. So yeah, the frozen root beer is worth it, so, it gets a 9 out of 10. It is an amazing drink, and if you can still get it, I highly recommend it. It's very good. So yeah, the Habanero Chicken Sandwich from AMW... Oh, and by the way, you get Frenchie's ketchup packets as opposed to regular ketchup packets. And of course, I got myself a Toronto Blue Jays cup, which is displayed in my room. So yeah, the habanero chicken sandwich is actually better than the Nashville hot chicken sandwich from AMW because it doesn't have the same flaws as the Nashville hot chicken sandwich has. It's, ruined, it's not ruined by sweet stuff, and... It is a uh, pretty good, but not nearly as good as Wendy's offerings or Burger King's offerings. So yeah, I definitely give the a and Habanero Chicken Sandwich an 8 out of 10. Yeah, so it's really surprising that one of the regular offerings is better than one of the uh, limited time offerings. Yeah, that's what I found. It's surprising. So yeah. That's that. Batman's arch nemesis is the Joker, but my arch nemesis is the YouTube algorithm. Smaller channels are being attacked and put at risk because of the viewer-based algorithm that YouTube has. And yes, the Racer Simmer Productions YouTube channel will be needing every ounce of support from you guys. Like, 
comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to see when new Racer Simmer Productions videos are being posted. And together, we can help defeat the algorithm and drive it away from the Racer Simmer Productions YouTube channel. And yes, every subscriber count matters because it means you are really awesome and you support me through the um, difficult time on being on YouTube. Yeah, it means you really support me during these difficult times. Anyways, catch you guys next time.